morning. Yeah, Jackie. I got the money. Show me where to sign. What are you talking about? It's time to finalize our deal. My half of the company, remember? Oh, I'm sorry, JR. But I was wrong. I can't do this to Vanessa. I can't ruin your marriage. Well, there's nothing to ruin. The wedding is off. I'm all yours. I'd like to tell you a little story, if I may. Huh. Sure. It's about an innocent young girl who went away to school and fell in love with a handsome prince. They had what she thought was a beautiful romance. But when she got pregnant, the prince turned into a frog. And he threw her out of his life like five-day-old trash. The moral of the story is that Leanne Nelson should never have kissed a toad like J.R. Ewing. Leanne. Oh, my God. I had an abortion, J.R. It was illegal, of course, and highly unsafe. I was sick for a long time, and I had to drop out of school. But you wouldn't care about that, I suppose. I mean, isn't that what the village whore deserved? I never said that. You said that and a hell of a lot worse. How did I know you were telling the truth? Do you have any idea how many women have tried to pull that stunt on me? I don't give a damn. It was my life you threw away, and it was my self-esteem you stamped out just like that. And now it's time I paid you back. How? By taking Ewing oil away from me? Not just Ewing oil. I had to take away everything that was precious to you. Your company, your fiancé, and even your son. Why is this so important to you? Because you took away the thing most precious to me. Because of that botched abortion, I was never able to have children. Well, I'm sorry about that. It's not good enough. Oh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I was able to live a fairly happy and normal life until I heard your name again, and it all came rushing back. You hated me that much? To do that to me? Yes, I did. But I never could have done it alone. I had the help of a very dear friend all along. Hello, JR. This is your help. She'd never have bought the company without me. You just can't keep your claws off of me, can you? Ruining my son's life wasn't enough for you. Temper, temper, JR. You two belong together. Hatching your silly little plots and your silly little heads. You're not good enough to wipe the spit off my boots. You better watch that mouth, JR. Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm going home. I've had enough revenge to last me a lifetime. Oh, yeah? Well, this isn't over yet, honey. It is for me. Although, if I were you, I'd apologize to Michelle. Oh? Why? Because she's the new owner of what used to be Ewing Oil. <laughs> <laughs>